This video will show how to construct a confidence interval for the mean using a student t distribution. In the previous video, we used the formula shown here below to construct the confidence interval. In this video, we will show how to quickly determine the confidence interval using the T84. You do a study of hypnotherapy to determine how effective it is in increasing the number of hours of sleep subjects get each night. You measure hours of sleep for 12 subjects with the following results, which are shown below. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean number of hours slept for the population, which is assumed normal, from which you took the data. So notice how because there are 12 subjects, n is equal to 12, and therefore the degrees of freedom is equal to 12 minus 1 or 11. So going to the T84, to save time I've already entered the data. To enter data, press stat, then press enter, then enter the data into a list. Again, I already have the data in L1. From here, press STAT, right arrow to tests, select T interval, which is option eight. We want option eight, T interval, so we can press eight or arrow down to eight and press enter. I will press eight. We have the data in L1, so with the cursor on data, press enter, down, the list is L1, which is correct. Enter. Because we are not using a frequency table, we leave the frequency at one. Enter. C level means confidence level, which is 95%, and therefore we enter 0.95. Enter. Enter on calculate. We have the confidence interval on the top. To four decimal places, we have 8.1634 to 9.8032. This is the information we need, but also notice how it does give us the sample mean or X bar, as well as the sample standard deviation indicated by SX, as well as N, the sample size. But again, all we need is the confidence interval shown on the top. And now that we have the confidence interval, we need to interpret the confidence interval, which is, we estimate with 95% confidence that the true population mean number of hours slept is between 8.1634 and 9.8032 hours. I hope you found this helpful.